University, and the rumors that members stole the skull of Geronimo. Well, now, descendants of the famous Indian warrior are suing to get it back. And as Deborah Favorick reports, that is not all they want. Geronimo hanged for murder. Just his name, Geronimo, conjures up images like these in an American legend. A fierce Apache leader and his warriors greatly outnumbered, fighting off the U.S. cavalry in an attempt to save his people and their way of life. And he eventually uh, surrounded and outmanned, outgunned. He is convinced to surrender. Geronimo died a prisoner of war. His body buried in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Now, 100 years later, his family is suing to get his remains back. After a while, you know, it, it hurts you inside. Harlan Geronimo is the warrior's great-grandson. He and other descendants are suing Yale University and a secret society known as the Order of Skull and Bones, claiming Geronimo's skull was stolen back in 1918 by Yale students, members of the secret order. One of the alleged grave robbers, Yale Prescott Bush father and grandfather of Presidents 41 and 43. When you desecrate a grave like of this nature, you know, uh, you upset the spirit. And sooner or later, you know, the spirit will come after you. For decades, members called Bonesmen dismissed the suggestion as a hoax. But a Bonesman's letter written in 1918, discovered two years ago at Yale, suggests otherwise. Quote, skull of the worthy Geronimo the Terrible exhumed. Now, safe inside, the T. T is the lead short for the tomb, the Bonesman's private club. I spoke with several Bonesmen who told me that inside the tomb there's a glass display case containing a skull, and the Bonesmen have always called it Geronimo. Author Alexandra Robbins wrote a book on the secret order. If it is found that Geronimo's skull is really in there, uh, that's a crime. Geronimo's descendants have also sued President Obama and Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, hoping to recover Geronimo's remains at Fort Sill. He died as a prisoner of war, so he was not free, and, and he was not free to be buried in the old customary way that the Apache would have been buried at that time. Geronimo's great-grandson says he's willing to take a DNA test. He and his family want Yale University and Skull and Bones members to tell what they know. We attempted to reach Skull and Bones, but no one returned calls. Yale says the university does not have Geronimo's remains and that it does not speak for the secret society. Deborah Fayrick, CNN, New York. Don't go away, because next it's up.